away. Can you see the difference in size of the eyes? Yeah. The one that's further away is more squished, one that's closer to you is a bit wider. All right, you do the same sort of transformation sequence inside the eyes as well. So the one that's closer to you will look sort of a bit more rounder. The one that's further away will be very thin. Long swishing 
quotes going from so far away. You know, it does help if they're a bit more torn with it. All right, so that's the best part. Because you know, I was drawing, and I was like, oh, why, why can I never get this right? Because I never accounted for that from the very start. And you should account for it from the very start. Okay, you draw your pretty face, draw your pretty body, and make sure you've got enough paint for the legs. All right, so that's because you know, the worst thing ever is shoving all those legs off. So um, you've got your head. Figure it out. Draw the soul. That's how much space you're going to use up for your full body shot. Okay. You don't want to do a full body shot, that's fine. If you want a full body shot, you have to make sure you've got your paper. So you've got that. The next thing to think about is the length of the legs. Because this is another thing that we get completely wrong. Um, legs are about half wide. Um, and that's almost how they are in real life. In fact, many of us have this really, really warped perception of how short our legs are. Because um, we're so used to standing around looking down at people. We're used to looking down at ourselves. And we're used to looking at mirrors of ourselves in our rooms, which are not enormous, okay? In order to get a true picture of how long your legs actually are, you've got to be quite a distance away from a mirror to see you. And I mean, you have to be quite a distance away from someone else in order to gauge them properly. That's the reason why photographers, when they're doing their fashion shoots, they have to take their camera and move it out here, or so, or a tiny bit lower, so you can get that sort of length of the leg properly, okay? So, you probably have all the legs in the thing, all right? So try to go for around about half the height. The, 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 the shortest you tend to get is about shoulders to the floor. And so, but even then, you know, if, if you go from shoulders to the floor and divide that in half, the most it'll go down is that much, okay? So never draw legs that are too short in manga. Never. Alright? Because that's no, just don't ever do that. In the manga, go for the, the shoulder height is the minimum. Okay, so if you look at the shoulder down to the floor, divide that in half minimum sort of shortness you can go with the legs, okay? Ideally you want half of your whole height. And if you doubt, draw them even longer. Alright, so so yeah, that's that's the first thing you need to make sure you never get right. Okay, so hips ankles feet. Right? So what is left has to be the neck and the body. So neck, body. Okay? And once you have that that means you know how long to draw the arms because from the shoulder to the wrist it's the same as the length of the torso. Alright? So you've got the length of the body, therefore that's what it is. Okay? That's shoulder to wrist. The hands go beyond. Right? So, um, so hands go beyond that. Okay? And even if you're drawing something that's bent, add up the length. So that it's about right. Okay, always add them up just to be sure. Okay, and when it comes to things like joints, elbows, knees, it's that section only that gets divided in half. All right, so this bit here, divide that in half. Ankles, hips to ankles, divide that section in half to get where the knees are. Okay. So, oh, and feet as well. Feet and hands. Do not draw them too small. You can get away with drawing them a little bit bigger. In fact, that is quite cute. You draw them a little bit bigger. But don't draw them too small, it looks really weird if you draw them too small. Okay, so hands um, spread, they can cover the face also. Feet, the length of the foot is the same as this distance here to there. Okay, you, can, you can check yourself if you want to. That's how we are in real life. Okay, so make sure that the foot is about the length of that sort of forearm bit. Okay, don't make them any smaller. Alright, because otherwise your practice will have far too small feet and it's going to look weird. Okay, so. That's just a general sort of like outline of things just to help you a little bit on your way off that, okay? So, um, yeah, if you're talking about, so, and if you're talking about chibis, chibis are like the mini character, which is a very, very quick version of the song chibis. Chibis, they're like, hold on a second. Chibis are like mini versions of characters. And you can see here I've done just a very, very, very quick outline showing the overall sort of proportion set of these. Yeah? Three head legs tall, something like that. Alright, so you can see one, two, three. But shoulder to four, length of the foot of the legs, yeah? Body is the length of the of the uh, arms. Very, very short neck. But with chibis, you almost get rid of the neck entirely, or it has to be really, really short and small. Alright? So Okay, so yeah. Alright, so that's just you know just to show you the, the variation between the real life sort of looking 